New tonight in Salinas, the pothole problems only getting worse with this weather. One woman says the erosion on the road was so bad that it caused her to crash and it could have killed her, she says. KION's Zania Romero live for us in Salinas tonight with a story from this woman who's now asking the city to fix those potholes. Well, the city understands that there is a problem, but it was more than just a bumpy ride for Yuriko Romero. She tells me she got into an accident because of a pothole, and now she's calling on city officials to do something about it so it doesn't happen to other people. And here's what else she told me. As I tried to avoid it, it's when I started swerving back and forth, um, trying to take control of the car because I essentially lost control of the car. Mm -hmm. um, ended up maybe half a mile out. Scary moments for Yuriko Romero as she recalls hitting a pothole while driving to work in Salinas. Hopefully we can get these holes patched up or the road uh, redone. Romero says she grew up driving on Williams Road, but now she's fed up with the bumpy stretch of flawed pavement. She says it almost took her life. But my family came to mind immediately. So just thinking that I could have possibly lost my life and you know, not being able to see them anymore. I checked. The city says there is funding allocated every year to fix the potholes. The city is, you know, we're always fixing potholes. We're always doing what we can to remediate the potholes, and we ask that, you know, the community report them to us. From January to April, Public Works says they have fixed over 11,000 potholes. The city's budget for road maintenance is about $7 million per year. Rome says that's not enough. The problem is bigger than the amount of money that we have. Romero says no cost is greater than someone's life. So you can see these right here um, from the seat belt. I have some on my chest and then on my legs. Uh, body aches, of course, you know. Uh, the car's pretty damaged, probably totaled. It's just, it's scary, definitely. And, and, and it's more scary because it could happen to anyone, you know, um, moms, dads. And the city says it would cost about $23 million a year to maintain the roads. Veronica, back to you. Thank you, Danya. Well, according to the Pavement Management Program, the city has had $200 million to work on backed up maintenance problems. Over